In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Peace be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Mahati, welcome to the Eucharist once again, as we continue our journey in the desert, in this retreat, coming closer to the Lord, understanding how we can be his better disciples. We begin the Eucharist once again, putting ourselves in God's presence, asking his forgiveness for our sins. You were sent to heal the contrite, Lord have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father, Lord have mercy. Lord have, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, we pray, O Lord, perseverance in obeying your will that in our days the people dedicated to your service may grow both in merit and in number so our Lord Jesus Christ your son lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit God forever and ever Amen. Amen. Kindly sit. A reading from the book of Numbers in those days from Mount Hor the Hebrews set out by the way to the Red Sea to go round the land of Edom. And the people became impatient on the way. And the people spoke against God and against Moses. Why have you brought us up out of Egypt to die in the wilderness? For there is no food and no water, and we load this worthless food. Then the Lord sent fiery serpents among the people, and they bit the people, so that many people of Israel died. And the people came to Moses and said, We have sinned, for we have spoken against the Lord and against you. Pray to the Lord that he take away the serpents from us. So Moses prayed for the people, and the Lord said to Moses, Make a fiery serpent and set it on a pole, and everyone who is bitten, when he sees it, shall live. So Moses made a bronze serpent and set it on a pole, and if a serpent bit anyone, he would look at the bronze serpent and live. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. to God. Our response shall be, O Lord, hear my prayer. And let my cry come to you. Kindly repeat. O Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come to you. O Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come to you. Do not hide your face from me in the day of my distress. Turn your ear toward me on the day when I call. Speedily answer me. Our response. O Lord, hear my prayer and let my cry come to you. The nations shall fear the name of the Lord, and all the earth's kings your glory. When the Lord shall build up Zion, he will appear in all his glory. Then he will turn to the prayers of the helpless. He will not despise their prayers. Our response, O Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come to you. Let this be written for ages to come, that a people yet unborn may praise the Lord. The Lord looked down from his holy place on high, looked down from heaven to the earth, to hear the groans of the prisoners and free those condemned to die. Our response, O Lord, hear my prayer and let my cry come to you. 
Kindly stand as we prepare our hearts for the gospel. Glory and praise to you, O Christ. Glory and praise to you, O Christ. The seed is the word of God. Christ is the sower. All who come to him will live forever. Glory and praise to you, O Christ. The Lord be with you and, and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus said to the Pharisees, I am going away, and you will seek me, and you will die in your sin. Where I am going, you cannot come. So the Jews said, will he kill himself, since he says, where I am going, you cannot come? He said to them, you are from below, I am from above. You are of this world, I am not of this world. I told you that you would die in your sins. For unless you believe that I am he, you will die in your sins. They so said to him, who are you? Jesus said to them, just as I have been telling you from the beginning, I have much to say about you and much to judge. But he who sent me is true. I declare to the world what I have heard from him. They did not understand that he was speaking to them about the Father. So Jesus said to them, When you have lifted up the Son of Man, then you will know that I am he, that I do nothing on my own authority but speak just as the Father taught me. And he who sent me is with me. He has not left me alone, for I always do the things that are pleasing to him. As he was saying these things, many believed in him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My sisters and brothers, the words of Jesus today are truly mysterious, introducing us deeper and deeper into the mystery of the Trinity, of He and the Father being one. He had not yet spoken of Him being God. He had not yet spoken of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, but gradually Jesus was uh, instructing them and here showing clearly that I am doing the Father's will. I am saying what the Father told me. I am, he is always with me. He was beginning to introduce them to his divinity. You are of this world, I am not of this world. You are of this world, I am from above. So showing distinctly, uh, introducing us to the idea that he was God. Uh, the, this gospel tells us that many began to believe in him. He spoke probably with unction, conviction, uh, and also predicting now that uh, he was going to die. If I am, when I am lifted up, you will know. We have got repeatedly uh, indications to us that Jesus is going knowingly, willingly, clearly, decidedly to the cross where he's going to die. He's not a victim of circumstances. He's not condemned to death because uh, they rejected him, which is true also, but it was all part of God's plan to redeem us. And so today we spend time in thanking God uh, for, this, for Jesus, uh, sending his son to redeem us. But let's look at the first reading where we hear about the bronze serpent. The Jews, the Israelites, are still on the way from Egypt to the Promised Land. A very they did not go straight. They are avoiding enemy territory. They were going as God led them. Forty years they wandered that small distance to come over there. And naturally, 
there were inconveniences of food and drink and they complained over here saying uh, you brought us out of they, they began to long for the flesh pots of Egypt uh, we were happy over there they forgot their slavery forgot that they were treated so badly uh, said we were we were we had food and drink over there and now you've given us this miserable food there are different translations some say worthless food some say some translations say tasteless food the, the, and what were they rejecting? The food. It was the manna. They were rejecting the manna which God had given them to sustain them. And they, want, they were longing for other parts of the Old Testament, say for the onions and cucumbers and leeks uh, which they had. That's what they were dreaming of. And Jesus then, uh, no, God then shows them that they have rebelled because they grumble against Moses, against God and serpents come to attack them. The serpents uh, attacking them should remind us of the Garden of Eden. In the Garden of Eden, Adam and Eve had refused God, turned away from God, and because of a serpent. And then they were bitten by the serpent, or tempted by the serpent, and then followed, rejected God. Or disobeyed God. The same thing happens over here. You have once again a serpent. They reject God and the serpent comes uh, once, once again is involved. Uh, see the, the comparison between Genesis, here Exodus, and what is going to happen soon on the cross where Jesus is going to be lifted up. Let us not be people like the Old Testament who reject what God gives him, the good thing that God gives them, and grumble, saying, we want better things. Let us uh, look at the, you know, in this bronze serpent was put up by Moses uh, to, they're just looking at the bronze serpent, they were cured of the snake bites. Looking at the cross, we heard that on the fourth Sunday of Lent, looking at the cross, they were cured. Let's look at the cross continuously, reject evil, and see what in our own lives has got to be changed to come closer to Jesus. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, to your goodness we have this bread which we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, we come to share in his divinity, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, to your goodness of this wine which we offer you, fruit of the wine and work of human hands, to become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that your sacrifice and mine May be acceptable to God, our Father in heaven. May the Lord accept a sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive back, O Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation, that being moved to compassion, you may both pardon our offenses and direct our wavering hearts. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and, and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift, lift them up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right, right and just. 
This is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God. For through the saving passion of your Son, the whole world has received a heart to confess the infinite power of your majesty, since by the wondrous power of the cross, your judgment on the world is now revealed and the authority of Christ crucified. So, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, me, your unworthy servant, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be quest eternal life, Praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, to you, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, be all glory and honor forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Let us pray with confidence of the Father in the words Jesus gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. In your mercy, keep us free from sin, safe from all distress. We wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, said your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Offer the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Don't only say the word, my soul shall be. We now make our spiritual communion with the Lord. O Lord Jesus, since I cannot now receive you in your sacramental presence, I beg you to come spiritually into my soul, to enrich me with your holy grace, and make me truly your own forever. O Jesus, living in Mary, come and live in me, in the spirit of your holiness, in the fullness of your power, in the communion of your mysteries, in the perfection of your ways. O Divine Guest, give to my soul a strong, lively faith, an unbounded trust, perfect humility, an abiding sorrow for my sins, a total abandonment to your Divine Will, and a perfect loving union with you in mind and heart. O Sacrament Most Holy, O Sacrament Divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Lord Jesus, thank you for the blessings and graces you have given me through this spiritual communion. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that ever seeking what is divine, we may always be worthy to approach these heavenly gifts through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Special prayer for Lent. O God, who chose to show mercy, not anger, to those who hope in you, grant that your faithful may weep as they should for the evil that they have done, and so merit the grace of your consolation. Make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. The Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let's go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Thank you very much. Have a lovely Tuesday. And today is Children's Day. And uh, happy to tell you that Father Joshan will be back once again and give you a catechesis for the children especially. The children look forward, all of us look forward to learning something as we are coming closer to the Lord. Continue to pray. Continue to try to... Uh, come closer and closer to the Lord during this retreat and I want to remind you that this week we said we would be more charitable acts of charity whatever way kindness understanding God bless you and uh, happy retreat happy Lent prayer for relief from the coronavirus 
Almighty and merciful God, who show your love to all creation everywhere, hear graciously the prayers we make for all those affected by the coronavirus in various parts of the world. We come before you asking for an efficacious control of the outbreak, for a healing of those affected, for the victims and their families. We thank you for blessing the efforts of our research scientists working on the development of a vaccine. We pray that these vaccines will be effective in combating the virus and its mutants and in controlling the spread of the pandemic. We pray that the vaccine be available for all our people, even the poor and those in rural areas. We pray for doctors, nurses and health workers who are in the front line of this battle. That they be kept safe and have the strength and courage to continue their heroic efforts. We pray for the government and health authorities that they take appropriate steps for the good of the people. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Leave your nets and come forth.